House Speaker Mike Johnson's political future could be on the line this week, and he's hoping to hold votes on a series of bills that include billions in military aid for Israel and Ukraine. Johnson will likely need help from Democrats to get the bills passed. CBS's Scott McFarlane has been doing his reporting on Capitol Hill all day. What have you learned, Scott? Nora, a critical and fragile 48 hours ahead as Mike Johnson tries to put down a revolt inside his own party, but also get enough support for that $61 billion plan to help Ukraine ahead of a key vote on Saturday. In an appeal to some of his party's critics who say the government spent enough on Ukraine already, Johnson tonight argues some of the money's in the form of a loan and some of the money will help U.S. defense manufacturers. But that's not enough to satisfy Trump ally in Georgia. Republican Congressman Marjorie Taylor Greene, who again today said she would move to try to remove Johnson as speaker over that Ukraine money, potentially in the coming days. Nor a multiple House Democrats told CBS News late today, either they or they think their colleagues would intervene to save him if it meant getting money to Ukraine. Critical couple days ahead. You are right, Scott. Let me ask you about that key development on the congressional push to ban TikTok. What can you tell us? Yeah, that foreign aid bill also includes this provision requiring TikTok to be sold or divested from its China-based owner or face a ban in the U.S. in a year, which would strip it from tens of millions of users. Here's the key movement. Senate Commerce Committee Chairwoman Maria Cantwell of Washington, who'd been holding out her support for the bill, today announced she's on board, which could expedite it to the Senate floor. It already has bipartisan support, could be on a fast track, and Nora TikTok has said these bills encroach on the First Amendment. A lot to watch. Scott McFarland, thank you very much.